Last time on episode 120 of AWSM Radio. To all awesome monsters out there named Nick. Yeah. Ready? And a one, and a two, and a one, two, six, five. Nick. Nick, it's your birthday. Happy birthday, Nick. Nick, it's your birthday. Happy birthday, Nick. Yeah. So. <laughs> what? If you thought that was interesting, yeah, I didn't know. check out episode 120. But now it's time for episode 121 of <laughs> A-W-S-M Radio. Damn, that was good! Oh. Hello and welcome to the last episode of this night of recording on Nick's birthday that we're doing. And we're being joined by a very special guest host. Uh, because we talk about serious issues with Candy Lawrence. Hey! <laughs> hey. Serious! Candy, I love it. Like, the thing that started happening at the beginning of the night started happening again immediately at this episode where Logan just immediately interrupted the first sound. <laughs> Not even syllable that came out of your mouth. Not even silly. Hey, Candy, what the uh, I'm a woman. Did anyone ever call you Comedy Lawrence? You know? Like people just say, like comedy Lawrence. And no, just talk- okay. never. <laughs> Do, are you required to live on Lawrence? Like up here, you know, by Leland and you know the street Lawrence. Mm, yes. Okay. Did you ever sell candy? She has been child, trained maybe, to other students. Trained. These are all great questions. <laughs> <laughs> I want my lawyer. <laughs> Here with us tonight are two very special guests near and dear to my heart, Kevin Pickman and Stephanie Tormanay. Hey, guys. Hey. Hey. Welcome right. back. Yeah, Thank welcome you. back. What yeah, episode? it's been a while. Do you, do you remember what episode that you were on? Because I Zero normally do. Two. Yeah, we were Zero in your uh, apartment at the time. When when did we do this in my apartment? This is a long time Ooh, ago. I'm going like to Two years ago, I think. All right. So let's just say catch up. It was exactly two years ago because okay. we were doing a Kickstarter that was poopy. But. That's right. We were that well, that was during the Kickstarter for We Grew Up Here. Yeah, and what in the hell is this We Grew Up Here? And I hear you had a fabulous assistant director who just kind of <laughs> wove everything together with his magical gayness. Actually, that guy was kind of <laughs> underwhelming. Oh, who is that? Well, I don't like to brag, but I will. <clears throat> <laughs> I wasn't that definitive enough. Come on, you should plug me for a change. Mm. Let's switch roles. You know, I'm usually in. Assistant director Nick Taylor, ladies and gentlemen. (laughs) Wow. Wow. Look at you. you How how did you like that? What did you you expect going into it? And then what do you think afterwards? What do you mean? How did I write that? No, no I mean like going, well, into, going it. into it as being assistant director because you got called up like With a week so and a half like, and I was like, oh shit, we actually need an AD. We can't yeah. do this by ourselves. Let's call Nick. Um, See if he's willing to do it. Well, I knew that I could talk and I knew that's what you needed. Someone who could talk and talk Spots hard. <laughs> you know, that's a plug for a, another movie that I assistant directed. <laughs> talk hard. <laughs> just plugging away just plugging away I did not fucking assistant direct that so movie and that's from another movie that I directed <laughs> just plugging away I, um. I love I, I love the last episode of the night because I never drink but I'm very comfortable around you all I never drink prior or I never drink during shows but I, I, I it's my birthday it is it's happy birthday th- oh yeah happy birthday oh, man, my grandmother, my grandmother left me a very lovely voice message where she sings "Happy Birthday." Oh, can we hear it? We could, uh, and we may. How, I thought how, you were going to say my grandmother left me and just leave it there. <laughs> <laughs> well, that would have been funny. <laughs> that would have uh, been. Sad. While you, while Nick looks that up, I'll share what I looked up. You guys were on episode forty of AWSM Radio. Damn, that's a uh, long time ago. What the episode is this? For we grew up here, and oh, now here you are at episode one twenty one, and it's all completed and it's out there. Wow. And it will be out there coming up on May first. And if you want to come sure. see it, and if you're my friend, even if you're just a fake friend on Facebook, you better fucking be there, cunts. May first. That's what I said. I said that to be very PC. Because I know vagina is not in anymore. And anyone that shows up, you'll buy them like a beer and a drink afterwards, right? I will. I will look at other people doing that for them. (laughs) But 
Society for Arts is an awesome little venue at 1112 North Milwaukee. It's going to be May 1st at 7 p.m. You can get tickets in advance at tickets at simfest.org slash grew for 10 bucks. And I, I have not... I have not seen anything since the second cut because I know that I was with you through the first cut and the second cut. And yeah, then you did the I, whole assembly with us. I ran away. <laughs> I was like, I the same to, person. Yeah. I have to be real, real person now. I can't be in magical, wondrous land of this character named Liam. Can you tell us a little bit about the story? No. Sure. Yeah. I mean, okay. We no. gotta. We gotta shake. We gotta shake. No. <laughs> I don't want. Very tactile sensation. We can keep it all hidden all if tactile. you want. Yeah, essentially it's about a musician that uh, discovers that his hometown goes missing. And uh, we're not sure if uh, this hometown ever existed because no one has any recollection of this town ever being in existence. So it's about his kind of uh, trip back trying to find this place that might or might not exist yeah it's totally cryptic and liam is played by eric michaels of paper thick walls opposite of kate shell of paper thick walls and the music of the band sort of fueled the 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 writing am i am i correct or is it just sort of the the music was like a a huge uh part of it just like in the writing uh, like just in the conceptual (laughs) stages of it and then in the cutting room we kind of just found ourselves like cutting more and more out of it yeah um, the musical part but i mean it's still in there definitely uh i just watched a film last night have you guys seen this the broken circle breakdown i have not i feel like that's what i wanted to do and they did <laughs> and we it. feel goddamn miserably yeah. <laughs> it's it's great if you guys haven't seen it I really <laughs> <laughs> that movie is also so everybody premiering. make sure to see broken <laughs> circle breakdown <laughs> first but actually what ended up being kind of cool about the movie is we we wrote some scenes that were a little bit inspired by some of their music, which didn't actually work in the movie, but they came back later, actually, and wrote more music for the film. Yeah. That's really good. Like, maybe some of our best music. And I think maybe we inspired them. I don't know. Uh, nice. I can take credit, maybe. No, I, no. Yeah, I think so. I'm no, taking it. Well, we're all going to be there, and I know this is already in the future, so this is past, but we will be there together at the Metro this Saturday, the mm-hmm. 19th, post-celebration, Nick's birthday, real Nick's birthday, where I take off pants. Like it will be, Ooh. it will be great. Your like, pants are just Kevin's really there, want, obviously. I mean, I just I want everyone to see this and be part of this, and uh, and by this I mean this lovely game we're about to play. Called Speaking of taking off Fat pants, Rabbit. yeah, let's play this game. Fat That's Rabbit. <laughs> there it is. Put it in your mouth. Oh my god. <laughs> That was art. <laughs> that was that was the intro for Fat Rabbit, our completely original game that you're about to play, Brought where you, you take are. turns putting marshmallows in your own mouths, or I, you two, maybe you could you could put it in the other person's mouth. That's up to you. That's up to you, though. I don't want to touch him. Yeah, and saying the words no Fat Rabbit. They've been in a relationship for a while. <laughs> Too long. That's what happens. <laughs> I'll say the exact same thing just right now. <laughs> And Nick will be the judge of when you're no longer in it. Yeah, and the marshmallows will also be the judge when you're no longer in it because they will come out of your mouth and then you lose. You guys can't talk. Funny jokes, though, right? No, 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 absolutely we will be not because <laughs> because I am not a <laughs> because I am not a comedian and Candy is she's I lost love her monologues. voice. <laughs> Serious ones, yes. Fat Rabbit, Stephanie. You point it upright. Let's keep the pace up here. Okay. Second marshmallow. <laughs> I like pace. Strategic. Nice. nice. <laughs> I don't know if that's worth. No, say Fat Rabbit. <laughs> fat Rabbit. Kevin. Second marshmallow. Fat rabbit. I like how this game's very visual. <laughs> I like how I'm yelling at them almost. Like I wanna I wanna scream. Third marshmallow. He swallowed 
swallow. Don't swallow. Don't swallow. Don't swallow. Oh, he's <laughs> stuffing him back there. Fat rabbit. <laughs> he's got some training. I have a bet on who's going to win this game. Fat rabbit. That's the third marshmallow? Are we a third or fourth now? I think we're we're three, in. Three, in. three in. Three in. Three in. Three in. Three in. Oh my gosh, swallow my spit. <laughs> don't swallow it's really nature's lubricant. <laughs> spit. I'm not doing so well. <laughs> Fourth marshmallow. There you go. It's okay. There it's okay. There you it. go. Fat I'd rabbit. Like to take this opportunity to plug my YouTube channel, Nicholas Dell Taylor. You can watch me take this YouTube challenge. <laughs> this is. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Nick, does it's that okay. count? You're the judge. She she rubbed it back into her mouth. There's a after dedicated it receptacle on her hand. It is an absolute allowance. You okay. are allowed to do that once going. in the game. You can, as long as you catch it on your I hand and rub it, it back <laughs> into your mouth. You can do that one time. <laughs> oh God! Just yeah, for have, everyone, we have uh, we do somebody have trained a, in the medical profession. <laughs> there, so. It's called a nurse or an RN EMT. or a doctor yes. or an EMT, EMT, which is what we have. That's what we really need when one of them starts choking. <laughs> Whose turn is it? They're just standing. They're here. on top of it. Everyone is just. Oh, standing. you lost. This is like you six lost. or seven. Nick is the judge. Nick here, is the here judge. It co- here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, there it is. You've got a bowl. You've got a bowl. Nope. You've got a bowl. Like a <laughs> You've got a bowl. You've got a bowl. If we only had a different. Oh. Oh. Congratulations. <laughs> it looks like cottage cheese. If we what only was your had. Mouth? If we only had a different camera oh, angle. Oh, so good. I'm crying a little bit. <laughs> it's not my... <laughs> I want... My heart was in it. I like how Stephanie is... like. I, it's it's kind of indiscernible as to whether you're laughing or you're in tears. Or you're kind of in this like ambivalent territory right now. <laughs> Ambivalent is the word featured in the great movie. What's it called? Girl Interrupted. Oh my god! (laughs) Angie. But you can check out another great movie. We grew up here at (laughs) www.wegrewuphermovie.com. And you can come with me and our awesome guests to come see the World Premier at SimFest May 1st. At listen 7 p.m., 11 to 12 North Milwaukee. Me. Tickets at simfest.org slash group. Special, amazing, awesome thanks to our guest host, Candy Lawrence, whose plugs are coming up. For free. No, they're not for free. You have to pay to go to this show. <laughs> On May 9th and May 10th, opening for Kurt... Bro. Dear, I do not... I'm a bar- 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 it's at Up Comedy Club. Yeah, it's at Up Comedy <laughs> At 10.30 and uh, 8 and 10.30, yeah. you have two performances, right? And the only thing I was intimidated by was that guy's last name. Kurt Braunohler. There you go. Oh!